Okay, guys, if you are CLAT 2024 aspirant, a good habit to start with is start reading. Since CLAT 2024 exam or CLAT exam for that matter is going to be a reading comprehension based test wherein you need to read multiple passages and you need to answer the questions that are followed by in the passage. So if you inculcate a habit of reading, what are the various sources from which you can read? First and foremost source is about books, right? Or I would say novels. Second source is newspapers. So in newspapers, I say a generic news. A generic news articles or the editorials. So guys, if you start reading uh, books or novels, you will come to know what are the various tones by which a particular uh, expressions could be expressed in on what is the author's point of view in writing the entire book or news article or an editorial. So one good thing about editorials is that will be communicating in uh, both the ways. For example, there will be an argument which is strengthening the given title or another argument which is weakening the given argument or it may be an argument between two parties, right? So by reading, it's going to help you big time in English, where in English section in CLAT have 30 questions, right? It will help you in understanding vocabulary, it will help you understanding in reading, it will help you ease the way in which you read and it will help you to read quick and understand uh, the things or understand the concept clearly. And it will also help you in GK and current affairs, which will have 35 questions. And this time in GK and current affairs, interestingly, there were seven questions for each passage and there are five such passages. And reading editorials and news articles will help you to cope up with day-to-day -day news and will help you uh, be on top of the happenings of that particular season. And it will also help you in critical reasoning, which is the logical reasoning section. Most importantly, by going ahead with editorials, you will understand how to analyze an argument, right? How to strengthen an argument or how to weaken an argument. What are the assumptions that exist in order to cope up with the argument? So, a close to 35 questions from critical or logical reasoning could also be answered. If you closely see, a total of 100 questions could be answered with one habit that is reading. Now, apart from it, we have 50 more questions in CLAT. So, how to deal with them? So, other subjects that are left is legal reasoning, which will have good 35 questions and quants, which will have 15 questions, which close to 50 questions. Now the question is how to cope up with quants. Guys, very simple. Start learning the concepts, start looking at uh, the formulas and start implementing the formulas in the questions and start practicing the questions, right? So for quant, you need to start from the concept level. And for legal also, you need to learn the concepts. For legal, we have split the legal into five segments at an academy. One is constitution, torts, criminal, miscellaneous and contracts. So these are the five various uh, legal fields that you need to be having a knowledge on. So understanding one chapter e uh, one chapter at a time you'll be able to ace legal remember legal is vast yes it is vast and it is very much essential for us to understand every concept of legal to the core in order to excel in exam so with this guys i hope all of you are clear on what we need to do and uh, let's start doing it with uh, the batch that we have just right now discussed about. So let's crack it and we are there with you for CLAT 2024.